make a quick update here on the EAPG. Uh, show you what the uh, input and outputs are on this thing. Uh, first of all, we we'll go over here. Our input voltage is 12.46 volts. You'll see our meter is set on DC voltage. We follow the leads up to the machine here. Back out here so we can see that. These are the input terminals. This is the input amperage. If I can get the wires all the way here. So we got 0 0.07 amps input at 12.46 volts. Okay. Over here is our rectifier board coming off of the very bottom of that. You see the two output leads. They're coming over here going through this amp meter. And you can see that our output is 0 0.09 amps. Now, let's get a measurement of the output voltage. And you'll notice this will rise very quick, but I want to show you what it's sitting at on a load. So if you look at the very first uh, figure it comes up. So I've taken the load off. You can probably hear the unit speeding up in the background there. Now let's put the load back on. Okay, and let's put it on the output amperage. So let's take the load off. You can probably hear the unit speeding up. Let's put the load on. So again, our input is 12.46 volts at 0 0.07 amps. And our output is 0 0.09 volts. Set around. Let me take that off again. At right around 14.6 volts. Now let's do an RPM reading on this thing. Under load. It is running at 184 RPMs. Let's take the load off. Forgive the uh, crazy camera movements here. So let's get a reading with the load off. So around 229 RPMs. And I think it's going to get a little bit. So with the load off, our input amperage is 0.12 amps. Let's put the load back on. See if I can do this. Hold the camera and get to the wires at the same time. So now we're going to put our load back on. Load is on. We're back down to 0 0.07 amps. Again, there's our output, there's our 
input. If you want to do the math on this, multiply amps times the volts, and you will see what the results are. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for updates as I get this thing tweaked out and improved. Thank you.